So the new macOS is coming out soon, and seeing the beta testers, I noticed the new iPhone mirroring feature, where the laptop's touchpad is used as a mouse to control the phone screen. So then, what if I wanted to do that, but still keep the display on my phone? If there's an app for controlling the laptop screen with a phone, why not do the opposite? Luckily, it was pretty easy to implement. All I had to do was write a basic Python program to relay the mouse position, click and scroll information to an Arduino Micro that wirelessly communicates with a second Arduino Micro via radio modules. The ATmega 32U4 chip has the ability to control a virtual cursor on the phone screen. Now, you might think this doesn't do much, but wait until you see this. Since all the phone control lies in the fangs of a Python program, we can keep the same Arduino code booted on the physical chips while going ham on the software. Two summers ago, my word hunt addicted friend put together a bot by chaining two Arduinos. Basically what I did, but without the wireless transfer component. And since I'm the most laziest and uncreative person alive, I'll copy his idea and attempt to replicate it to avenge my minimal word hunt gaming expertise. Thankfully, I found a GitHub repository with the word list and word search code I could easily grab to develop the Arduino transfer system I needed. The next part took a lot of trial and error to figure out the exact mouse move values, but then the repeated diagonal movements caused the cursor to shift. So that's the reason behind these long if-else ladders that send a countering move every so often as diagonal swipes pile up. The bot is already working perfectly. It's gotta be the fastest project I've ever created without running into every possible problem imaginable. So now it's time to prank some friends. Honestly, I don't feel anything from these wins. From the idea to use a dual Arduino communication chain to the word searching program, only a small chunk of work was actually mine. But you know what else I can instantly win? Anagrams. I had to put in a little more effort to program it this time. Besides the word games, can I cheat my way with anything else? Games that rely on dynamic feedback, such as 8-ball, basketball, or mini-golf, wouldn't be possible. But how about cup pong, archery, or darts? After a few rounds of testing, it was obvious there's some serious RNG going on with the first two, so even the same movement can trigger all sorts of trajectories. No wonder it was always so difficult to play. But darts? There's still a bit of skill needed as you'll need to watch carefully and fire exactly when the tip intersects the edge of the circular board. While the horizontal positioning can be controlled with pinpoint accuracy, the vertical axis takes skill to be consistent, which is why I didn't even bother to. Oh, you know what? Fine. So what else can I do with this connection besides attach the keyboard? Until any feedback from the phone screen can be relayed back, the program is only really good at automated tasks. I humbly present trashydrawingreplicator.py. No, the code itself isn't trashy. What actually sucks is my drawing ability, amplified further by having to trace the image with the laptop touchpad. Anyway, once the tracked data is saved as a file, you can adjust the pen location and it will be pushed to the phone to replicate as many times as you desire. Whether that's for spamming digital touch messages, adding pizzazz to your notes, or being uncreative at Arctic Phone, the botifying is endless. A few tips if you're planning on recreating my setup. Arduinos must be 32U4 or SAMD based board, so not the Uno or Mega, for example. And make sure to turn on assistive touch on the phone. With that being said, feel free to use my code for word hunt, anagrams, starts, or trashy drawing replicator.py linked in the description. They should be worth it for at least the next month or so until Sequoia comes out, in which the Arduinos can be taken out of the equation. I had fun though, and thanks for watching! Thank you.